There is a trend right now in cars where you're seeing two-tone vehicles, many cars with complementary or contrasting colour schemes. But what if you've got an older car where you don't have that option? What if you'd like to try out something a little bit different? Try out a different colour on your car. Try out a different colour of wheels, for example. Perhaps even spray on some graphics for a bit of fun. Well, the trouble with things like that is it tends to be a permanent solution. However, if you're after something more temporary, then I've got some spray paints today to try. Fully removable action paints. So yes, you did hear me right. Fully removable spray paints. Now, uh, I found these, I found them very interesting. Um, I actually contacted the company and I said, hey, these are really interesting. Would you happen to have any samples that I could buy and try out? And they were very kind enough to, to send me three boxes here, uh, three packs. So um, these are, there's two gloss black here and one matte black. Very interesting idea. So what you get in the box is two cans. One is a paint and one is a remover. So this is the spray paint itself here, the old rattly can type. And this one is a remover gel. And the whole idea is exactly that. You spray this onto the car. In fact, it doesn't even have to be a car. It can be pretty much any solid non-porous surface um, should be absolutely fine. They say here that um, it's 100% removable temporary paint. This one can will cover three square meters of area. That's what this does, okay? It takes five minutes to touch dry and it's done. It's very gentle on surfaces, that's a nice thing. It can be used on metal, alloys, glass, plastic, PVC, ceramic, sealed wood, and most painted surfaces. So really really interesting idea because you could do a lot with this now today I'm going to be trying it on a car but uh, you could also use this if you have a shop you could spray in the windows you could make up a stencil spray something about a sail in your window and then remove it afterwards that's the nice thing about the remover so the remover gel basically from what I understand it breaks down the paint into its component parts and allows it to be washed away very, very easily. That's the nice thing about it. So, um, you clean the painted surface with warm water and detergent to make sure that there's no grease or grime or anything left over on that, which allows this remover to get straight to the unmarred paint, the undirtied paint, which is great, perfect. Spray this on uh, liberally, it does say give it a good amount um, and what it'll do is it will fully coat what's there and it'll start to break it down. Allow two to five minutes for this to penetrate the paint and to disable its bond with the surface. Uh, then after one to two minutes you'll see the paint begins to sag a little according to this uh, and lift off the surface. At which point um, you can use uh, a damp cloth or a sponge, uh, even a pressure washer which is a great idea especially for people into car care. Most people into car care have a pressure washer, so that helps to blast it off. Um, if it is an excessively thick coating or very cold conditions, you may need, uh, or if the paint has been in place for longer than six months, you may need to uh, repeat. So keep that in mind. Um, that'll be very interesting to test today. I'm not gonna leave it on for a long time. What I'll do is I'll try the gloss black on the wheels of the car, and I'm gonna leave it on there and see how long it lasts. As far as the paint, I'm going to try a couple of stencils. They've sent me a few stencil bits. And I'll try both the gloss and the matte black on the paint and we'll see how it goes. Now the other nice thing, the other interesting thing about this company is that they have actually made removable paints for uh, TV and film. Um, very recently they uh, provided paint uh, and uh, painting uh, abilities for things like The Crown on Netflix. Um, I also know they've supplied paints for big movie productions too, some which are in production right now. Um, so that's really, really interesting. So they do things on a large scale commercial basis, but also on a small scale retail basis. Now, like I said, I only have 
the matte and the gloss black here, but they do make a range of colors. Uh, so I've been in touch and uh, I've had a chat about these. They're very, very interesting. I'm really looking forward to giving them a try. Let's go out to the car just now and see how they work. Okay, so you can see here, I've taken some basic precautions before spray painting. Now, before I did anything, preparation is key. So you've got to make sure that your surface is clean and dry, free from any oils or greases or anything that would stop the paint from adhering to whatever it is you're, you're going to be spraying it onto. In this case, the wheel has been fully washed and dried. The tire has also been washed and dressed because this is one of my questions is what happens when you spray this onto your wheel? I mean, it, you could mask off the entire tire if you wanted to. I think that's going a little bit far. I thought to myself, maybe a good dressing on the tire would help to perhaps repel some of this. I don't know. That's that's the whole point of trying this out. And I did say uh, to the owner of the company that I would be putting it to the test and trying different situations. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing here today. I've given it a good shake. Uh, for those of you who are interested, the wheel was cleaned with Valley Pro Bilberry Wheel Cleaner and the tire was dressed with AM details, AM dress. Uh, so it's um, it's looking really nice. So we're gonna have a look and see how this behaves. So like I said, they do tell you here that uh, to prevent any spray settling in unwanted areas, you should protect the surroundings. So I've just got this very basically done and we're gonna just see how idiot proof this might be. So I've given it a really, really good shake. And I, <laughs> and I was wrong straight away. It is up and down. Uh, so as you can see there, that's a, that's mostly a vertical line. So um, let's just go and just jump straight into it. I think I'll bring you in a little bit closer so you get a good view of what's going on down here. Let's bring you in closer. God, that's slow. Come on. All right. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's give this a bash. So just a, a light spray first to make sure I've got a half decent coverage and then we'll go over it a bit heavier. And I'll go a bit heavier now. I'll try not to, uh, try not to let it run, not to go too heavy in some places, but go heavier to get a good coverage. As a first go, that's not bad, but the whole idea now is that I don't need to do anything more to this. I don't need to give it more coats like I would if this was a, a proper spray paint. I wouldn't need to, uh, to give it loads and loads of time to dry. This is going to be five minutes and this will be touch dry. So that's looking pretty good. It wasn't difficult. I've still got plenty in there, so it should be more than enough, hopefully, to do four wheels. Um, it doesn't look bad, even though I did over spray a little bit on the tires. Um, what I might do after this is touch dry, because there's a dressing on the tires, I think I might go around with uh, an old rag and wipe over the tires just to see if I can lift off some of that spray. In fact, I might just do that now before the, the paint properly fully dries. Now, that's five minutes later, and as you can see, the wheel's looking pretty good. Now, I tried wiping off some of that paint from the tire. Didn't really work, it just wanted to cling to the tire. Um, so, if that's an issue for you, uh, either make sure you mask off the tires fully, uh, or maybe apply a silicon or gel-based wheel uh, tire dressing, sorry, and see if that would perhaps stop the paint from sticking but as you can see it's not bad it actually looks pretty good Oops. the uh, the gloss is there there is a shine to the wheel now it's not perfect it's not like something you would get out of a, a wheel refurbishers or something 
But as it goes, that is not bad. Now I'm not trying for full coverage, it's only the face of the wheel. I'm not really trying to get into the barrel because no one's really going to care or get up close that much. You can see I've gone over the emblem there as well and over the wheel nuts. I've just gone over everything. I want to see how long this is going to last. Now, to change things up a little bit, I'm going to take you around to the other front wheel. So this wheel is a little different. This wheel has had the same cleaning routine as before, but without the dressing. I've put no dressing on this tire at all. I also noticed that there wasn't much in the way of overspray, so I haven't bothered masking off this wheel just to see how well I can control the spray of this. Now, the other nice thing about a black wheel here is you can see there's a fair amount of damage. This is a gouge in the wheel. There's other damage. This wheel would need fully refurbished. There's damage along the rim and so on. So if it was to look perfect again, it would need to go to refurbishers. What I'm hoping here is that spraying black paint onto this is going to hide some of that damage to mask it a little and to make it less obvious and therefore hopefully improve the overall look of the wheels. Just realized there's a random drip appeared. All right, let's just go with it. Now on this back wheel, we're going to do things slightly different again. In this case, the wheel has not been fully cleaned. There is little dust on it, but this is a back wheel, so it's not going to be as bad. But there is some dust on there, some dirt, but we're just going to give it a try. I mean, you know, we have to test out these things to see how they'll work. So the wheel hasn't been cleaned, the tire hasn't been cleaned, nothing's been done to it at all. But it hasn't really had much driving recently, obviously, with what's going on in the world today. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to try this on a, let's just call it a dusty wheel rather than a dirty wheel. And to be honest, let's go a little bit more heavy handed. To be honest, it's actually a very forgiving paint. Get in there on the bead. Yeah, this is actually very, <laughs> very forgiving. Keep in mind, I have never ever sprayed anything in my life. I've never spray painted a single thing. It's just not something I've ever got around to doing. But this is the kind of thing I wanted to start with, was spray painting wheels. And honestly, that went on super easy, left a glossy finish. We're gonna leave that to dry, but um, this is gonna be another way of testing the longevity of the product. It's a not non-prepared surface in this situation. So no preparation whatsoever. Very, very interesting to see how this will work out. So uh, I've just got one more wheel to do, then we'll move on to the next thing. Now, although the paint was very controllable and very easy to use, I'm still going to use uh, some masking because I want to come onto the paintwork now and it is a little bit breezy today. It's not the most ideal spray painting weather. So what I'm going to be testing now is the matte paint on the car with some stencils. They very kindly sent me some stencils here. These are some which uh, are to do with them, some which had been sent to others actually. Uh, so this one is the, uh, the Scottish Rugby emblem there. This one is the company's logo, Renew Action Paints. And uh, this is one that was uh, sent to someone else. So I'm going to start with this one first. And uh, we're going to spray it on here and see uh, what it looks like in the matte finish, uh, applying it to paint rather than wheels. All right, so you can see here, I've masked off this section of the car, although it is, let me just bring you wide so you can see what's going on here. I've, uh, I've got this stencil and I've placed it over a hole that I cut in the masking paper here, just to try and protect it as much as possible. But as you can see there, um, I am exposing just as little of the stencil as possible just so I only get the paint where I really want it. So uh, like I said before, this is the matte black version of the paint and uh, we're gonna give this a go. Um, 
I've never ever spray painted a car uh, or paintwork, so uh, let's just see how this works. All right. It should be just as simple as that. And now, if I peel this back, it's not bad. <laughs> as a first go, it's not bad. It looks like something hasn't quite adhered there. But actually, that could go back over the top and I may just be able to apply that again. It looks like I've caught it as I was peeling it off. But if you make a mistake, that's the nice thing about this. You can remove it and try again. But I'm just gonna go over the top again and hope that when I peel it off this time, it, uh, it doesn't touch, let's be a bit quicker about it. Yeah, that looks pretty good to be honest. <laughs> that looks not bad at all. Uh, so, let's try some more stencils. Now this is basically to wind up the other half and this is the Scottish Rugby uh, logo and <clears throat> this is the other half's car and she's Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna go down well <laughs> so we'll give this another shake up and see how it goes now I know it should be white but I don't have white I only have black um, so I'm gonna go with the matte black again just to see how this holds up so again <clears throat> all right good even coverage let's peel this off quickly so as not to damage it, although I'm just ripping this paper, it's not very good. All right, well, <laughs> the bottom half didn't come out too well. I think uh, the stencil wasn't held properly against the paint, but you can see it there, it is working um, strangely enough. I have to, I don't know if you can see that clearly, can't tell. Yeah, I've got these kind of white marks. I'm not sure what that is exactly. We'll have a look at that after it's dry. All right, the last one we're doing is on the, the back of the car here. Um, so the last one didn't come out so well because uh, the stencil was coming away from the bottom of the, the stencil here. It was coming away from the car a little bit. So I've made sure this is as close as we can get it. Obviously, the closer you can get it to the paint, the better the stencil is going to come out. So again, matte black here and a little bit of masking. The wind has picked up quite a bit. Uh, I am upwind of it. It's going that way. Um, it's not ideal, but let's see how we get on with this. Simple as that. Not bad, not bad, could be a little bit better. Some of the bits around the bottom here could be a bit better, but overall, not bad at all. All right, so first up, I want to try the pressure washer on it and see how it holds up. Absolutely nothing at all. In fact, the uh, the matte paint is actually trying to push off and repel some of the water on there. Let's try uh, a wash solution. Now, this happens to be optimum no rinse, but it is a cleaner. And I'm giving that uh, a bit of force, a bit of pressure and doesn't look like anything has changed. Nope, absolutely nothing. So that is definitely sticking around. Be very interesting to see how long that lasts. Now we're gonna clean the other one up on the C pillar and then remove it.
So as you can see, there is no movement there. Nothing is coming off. Nothing is swiping off. It is clean and dry. Uh, fair enough, that is what we need because we're going to be using the remover gel now. Uh, so I'll give this a quick shake. And the instructions are to uh, clean the action paint with warm water. Well, I'm not going to do that because I don't have warm water coming out the pressure washer. Uh, and a detergent to remove any trace of dirt and grease that could hamper with the removal process. Well, it hasn't really stayed on for long. Uh, so shake well, hold it approximately 20 centimeters from uh, while spraying. Apply it liberally and ensure it coats the, the action paint being removed fully. Leave it two to five minutes to penetrate and then uh, after a few more minutes we'll start to see some of that paint come off and hopefully then we can use the pressure washer simply to blast it off. So uh, let's give this a try. Oh wow. <laughs> it comes out. Wow, it comes out incredibly strange actually. It's not what I expected. Oh, there we go. I've applied it liberally. So we're gonna let that sit. Oh, I can see it moving already. You can probably see that. Let's see if we can get in a bit closer towards that. We can see that starting to come away already. I know there isn't much on there and it hasn't been on super long, but it's just starting to slide off. Oh, I need to leave that. Don't let it go a bit wider again. I need to leave that for a few minutes. Let it do its thing. It's just pouring down. Look at that. It's pouring down the car. It really is removing the bond to the paint. And it did not want to come off that paint. I was rubbing it, I was washing it, blasting it with a pressure washer, and it didn't want to move. And this is making light work of it. Okay, that's been five minutes. Let's see if the pressure washer can remove this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing, but I find it funny. There's nothing there. There's absolutely nothing left. Doesn't feel like there's anything there. Let's get the ONR and just clean that up a little bit. Oh, look, <laughs> you can see where the water's drying. It's, it's left. I'll just get you up there a little tiny bit. Um, you can see it's where, where the paint was. Let's just wash that over. That might be interesting if there's something still there. But that's been wiped over now. So, let's give it another rinse. And see if it still dries in the lettering or the stencil. Nope. It looks like it's now gone fantastic so there you go it just <laughs> it came off so easily it looked like it wasn't going to come off but it did and that's it it's gone now there's nothing left at all um fantastic now i want to go and have a look at the wheels so this is the front wheel uh the first wheel that i did it's had the paint on for the longest time let's see how it behaves with just some water on it And it does look like it mostly wants to repel the water. It is a glossy finish, but it's not fully repellent. So let's just not waste any time. Let's get on here with the dry and shine rinse wax and see how it behaves and, uh, and then rinse it off again. Nothing more than that. And then rinse it off. It does seem mostly repellent there. I want to give it another go just in case. Like that. And I switched over to this low pressure nozzle, but I'm not so keen on that. Let's, uh, let's give it the nozzle that we had before and rinse that off. As long as I don't drop it like that. Well, there we go. That does look a little bit better. So, it looks like we can protect this paint just like any other paint on your car and, uh, and keep it looking nice. 
this will be my long-term test wheel I think I think the idea will be to see how well this holds up because at the end of the day this is the front left wheel it's going to be the one which is closest to curbs closest to the dirt on the road at the the side of the road so um, you know the left side of the car does tend to be the dirtiest so uh, I'm going to apply this same sealant to the rest of the wheels and uh, and then we're going to apply the sealant to the stencil on the back all right, for this, I'm going to use uh, a tried and trusted sealant that I really like. This is the Turtle Wax Hybrid uh, Sealant Hydrophobic Wax. I really like this stuff. Um, it's good, it's long lasting, but it's very easy to use. That's the whole idea of it. So uh, we're just gonna give it uh, maybe a single squirt. There we go. On there like that. Wipe that over. Oh, I forgot how, how nice this stuff smells. Flip the towel, buff it off, remove any residue. Simple as that. And I mean, you can, you can feel, it's a matte paint, so you can feel the texture difference. You can feel going from a, a glossy, shiny surface to a matte surface. But um, let's grab the hose and see what the water looks like on that after having this on it. So that's going nowhere. Awesome. This will be the long-term stencil test. The, the one on the side, I'm not going to uh, protect at all. All right, so I'd say that's had about five minutes or so. So let me grab the pressure washer and see if it'll come off. Because I did apply the remover gel while the wheel was wet. Okay, so that has removed most of the paint. What I have noticed here is on the sides of the spokes and in the corners, it didn't remove it, but I think that's because I was realistically, I was only spraying over the surface of the wheel. I wasn't getting into the edges of the spokes. So because of that, it hasn't got everywhere. It hasn't had a chance to properly eat at the, the sides that didn't get a proper coverage. That's my fault. But that's fair enough, this is something that you'll probably need to know if you want to try this product. So what I'll do now, I'm not actually going to remove the tiny little bits which are left over. Uh, I'm just going to dry this wheel off and I'll reapply the paint off camera. And this wheel will have no protection on it whatsoever. So we're going to have a protected wheel on the front left, uh, protected on the front right, protected on the back right, which didn't have any preparation. This one had no preparation other than this and it's going to have no sealant or any kind of protection product whatsoever for the long-term test. So uh, that's all for here, let's head back into the garage. Okay, so that's the, the job done now. Uh, time for the verdict, uh, the thoughts of these products. And I am a fan, I like them because they're something different. If you've ever fancied trying a, a different color on your car, perhaps, a different colour of wing mirror, a different colour of wheels, you know, if you want to add a graphic of some sort, some stripes, I mean, who knows? At the end of the day, um, your imagination is the only thing that's holding you back, you know, you can do so many different things with these. They are very, very easy to use, they're very forgiving. Even with a few runs that I had, they, they kind of evened out. It left a very good job. Now, it's not going to stand up to, or at least my job, my quality of job is not going to stand up to scrutiny up close, but from a, a reasonable distance, they look good. If you want to spray your wheels or, or add some graphics or something for a car show, this is the kind of thing that you can try now, and it could be just a, a temporary thing, or it could be something which would lead to a permanent change later on. If you fancy trying black wheels, but you're scared of that permanent paint situation, try out the temporary paint, try out the matte black or the gloss black. Give them a go, see what you think. When you're done, if you, they're not for you, or if you do want to go permanent, spray on the remover gel. And that was super easy as well. I was a real fan of how simple and straightforward this was. Spray that on liberally, leave it, and the paint just falls off. And it can be blasted away, and it can be washed away. It's absolutely fine. If you, you want to use, a, for example, a microfiber towel, if you want to grab one of these, 
and wipe off the paint. You can stick that in the washing machine and it will wash out. That's the great thing about this stuff. So you don't have leftover bits of rubber like on rubberized paints. Um, it's, it's a much simpler and easier system, I think. Uh, now, like I said, if you have any issues with the paint, if there's a chip or something appeared, you can spray on and fill in that little section and it's absolutely fine again. So you could, in theory, have this running for a long time. But like I said, I will be testing that now. I have, I have wheels which are protected, wheels which are not protected. I have a, a stencil which is protected and another which isn't. And I'm going to be keeping regular tabs on these to find out if they hold up and for how long they can hold up. Because this could be something that's very interesting as a longer term use. Um, so I'm, I'm really, really pleased with them. If you want to get your hands on them, um, Action Paint, uh, I got in touch with them. They've offered a discount code, 20% off. If you go to their website, I'll have the address down below in the description box. Uh, but if you use the code SPECKY, you'll get 20% off. They also have free delivery at the moment from orders above £20. It used to be £50. So that's a bonus there. If you want to give them a try, you want to try out some different colours. If you want to try a matte or a gloss effect, go and check out what's on the website and see what you've got to offer. But they've offered up that discount code. I'm not receiving anything for it, um, but I wanted to support them because they supported me by, by sending these when they didn't really have to. So um, thank you very much to Action Paints. Um, that's really about it for now. Um, I've really enjoyed these products. I hope you've enjoyed this product uh, and this video. <laughs> if you have, please smash that like button. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button. And while you're there, make sure you ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next video uploads. In the meantime, I've been Specky. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.